Hello and welcome to the video. I am starting today's video off with a little bit of commentary, just talking a little bit about my celery juice. This is the first time, the first week of my celery juicing, um, part of my morning routine. And I buy organic celery and I am just washing it off. Um, there is dirt on organic celery, so I am just rinsing off all the dirt and cutting off all like the dead ends. And the reason why I started to juice celery is because I did a lot of research on how beneficial it is for your digestion and your gut health. This stuff will seriously improve your digestion. I know it has for me. It also is very high in um, like just natural sodium, which is great for the first thing in the morning before you eat anything. So all night you didn't drink any water because you were sleeping so the electrolytes in the sodium in the celery really helps just replenish uh, your electrolytes give you back those like essential like vitamins and minerals that you kind of like were depleted from when you were sleeping and this is just kind of like almost like a natural way of like detoxing it really is beneficial for your liver I have loved it so far and I actually get a lot of energy from juicing celery. I don't wake up anymore and drink coffee. This is my drink and then I don't drink coffee until the afternoon as like a pre-workout, believe it or not. Um, this girl used to drink constant coffee and this celery juice wakes me up enough so I don't have to do it. So I drink 16 fluid ounces a day, so just two cups of celery juice, usually about two bunches of celery and I'm just adding um, juice from one whole lemon to this and I love it, it's really mellow. I would definitely give it a try. I have 100% enjoyed it and seen night and day results from like my digestion and my gut health. So give celery juicing a try. I really, really think you will love it. All right, after my celery juice, breakfast is served. It is 9.30 in the morning, and this is just my normal breakfast you guys see all the time. Cream of rice, egg whites, BPI protein powder, cacao powder, uh, cacao nibs, and cashew butter. So I'm gonna eat this. I got my little Kardashians playing. I'm gonna do some journaling and then go for probably a little walk just to help digest this since this is a pretty heavy meal on my stomach. I really am like so full after I eat this. And then uh, after I put myself together, I will give you guys a little update on my life and my physique. Hey guys, finally sitting down to do a little life update with you. I just recorded uh, a clip of this and it went 20 minutes. So I deleted it and I have to redo it because I'm not gonna fucking make you sit for 20 minutes and listen to me. That's some bullshit. So let's just do a quick, quick, recap so it is monday the 21st of may i got home from california last wednesday night so the my very first real like day at home was only thursday so it's still only been a couple days um when i went to california the day of california i was 108.0 my show day weight was 116.8. So I was up a little bit from stage, which is normal, obviously. So I went to California, 108.0. I was feeling good. And then I got to California. And then after eating out as much as we did, I started to feel really, really terrible. Like I was so lethargic. I felt I woke up every single morning and I felt hungover. I did not drink at all in California. I had a couple sips of a wine that Brian ordered, but I did, that was like the extent of my drinking, like probably three sips of wine. I felt hungover every day. I don't, it, I don't know why. Just eating out more sugar maybe. Um, sugar is like a fucking drug, so like, if you're on a journey to like a fitter life and you wanna change your physique and you cut out sugar, if you're like a big sweet tooth person, you will feel like complete shit because your body is like going through withdrawal. So like I felt like just not good. My body was like, Christina, what the fuck are you putting in here? You're so good to me and now you're putting shit inside of me. I felt terrible. Um, but I didn't go overboard. I truly didn't. I didn't even have a burger. <laughs> I didn't have French. I had French fries one day and they were terrible. Um, they were like shoestring French fries that tasted like chips. Like I wanted like a fry and I didn't get that. So like I was so disappointed in like the fries that I ordered. And so like I mostly what I did in California was like I just picked and I shared. I didn't get like a meal to myself. Like I was more into like sharing and picking 
and um, that way I was able to like enjoy a little bit of everything without going overboard. I truly did not go overboard, but I came home feeling extremely puffy and watery and just like big. So it hasn't even been a week yet. It is Monday today. My first real day home was only on Thursday, so it still hasn't been a week and I have to remember that because I was... Um, you know, getting down on myself um, for feeling so shitty and, and looking a lot different and puffier and my clothes fitting tighter. And it really like mentally took a hit. Um, I felt my old yo-yo dieting, under eating Christina come back a little bit and that was scary. Um, you know, just a year and a half ago I was under eating. Um, oh, two years ago I was under eating. So it's, it's still like a work in progress for me. Um, so when I left um, for California, my macros were set at 290 carb every day and 70 fat every day. And then my leg days were 330 carb and 70 fat. And then I got back from California and I felt terrible um, on the inside. I felt terrible just about my body. I just did not like what I saw. I just felt fucking like shit. So I cut my macros a little bit because honestly, I just wasn't even hungry. I like didn't, oh, just like, I guess all the food in California, I just like didn't want anything but vegetables when I got home. And that's really why I took more of the route of like holistic way of eating and like more like nutrient dense, like veggie based foods because that's what truly like I was craving and what made me feel my best. And I really wanted to get all the inflammation and water out of me that I was holding onto from my travels. So um, I know probably after like on Thursday if I weigh myself I'll probably most likely be back into the 108s um, and I kind of just want to stay there for a bit I I have a lot of things coming up I am going again I'm traveling <laughs> this I'm traveling a lot this summer so um, this weekend I have my best friend's bachelorette party in st. Peter st. Petersburg Florida it's about a four-hour drive for me so I'm leaving on early Sunday morning because they get in on Friday night. So I'm gonna go early Sunday, early Saturday morning so I can be there like when they wake up. Um, and I'm gonna spend the weekend with them on the beach. So I, you know, I wanna feel confident and comfortable with my friends, my girlfriends on the beach. I also have a couple photo shoots coming up with my lovely photographer and friend Susie. And then I have my best friend's wedding is in June. And then I have another wedding in August. So I just have like a lot of stuff going on um, where I wanna look good. You know, I have a bridesmaid's dress that I bought when I was on prep and I wanna make sure I fit into it. Um, and I just wanna feel confident this summer. Last summer I was reversed dieting the whole damn time so um, you know I was I wasn't bigger I mean I was bigger than I was now um, my reverse diet I, I just want to feel more confident and comfortable in my skin this summer I just want to be in a place where I'm comfortable with my body I'm progressing in the gym I'm eating enough food to where I'm full every day and I'm just living and eating what I want and going out to eat here and there and bringing you awesome fucking recipes so as far as goals go, I don't have any at the moment. I really kind of want to be in my routine for like a fucking minute before I set some hard goals, um, like physique wise, because right now I'm just kind of confused. I think California and coming back and feeling so puffy and feeling so just straight like shit kind of fucked with my brain a little bit. So, um, and you know, doing that so close to after my show um, and then traveling again constantly in, in the next two months. Um, I just have too much going on to like sit set a straight goal because I'm just gonna be out of my routine so much for the next couple months. So um, right now, just living and eating and getting my macros to a place where I can comfortably like maintain but feel full as well and feel like fulfilled in my macros and not like wish I had more. And also just have the freedom to go out to eat and do things with Brian. Um, so that is where I'm at right now. Um, I hope. I think that was everything. I'm just on a journey to, to live a comfortable life where I am balanced and I feel confident in my skin and I'm eating enough food to keep me full all day and also eating enough food to be able to go out to restaurants and enjoy life with my husband and not wake up 10 pounds heavier the next day. So uh, that's the plan, that's my life. I'm gonna eat my pre-workout meal, stop rambling. I will see you guys uh, for my post-workout meal, bye. Hello my loves, I am back from the gym and I am just putting together my post-workout meal which I of course I'm going to show you. 
Now, I've been having a protein shake after my lift, which is rare. I never do that, but now that I am in my off season, I guess just like living my normal life, I just want to make sure I have a very fast digesting protein um, source that can just like go straight to my muscles, give me those gains right there. So I've been having a protein shake, so the protein in my post-workout meals have been very minimal. So let me just show you what I have going on. So I just made some egg whites, just uh, three, and, uh, three and three quarters ounces. Is that how you say it? 3.8 ounces of egg whites. And I'm having that with white jasmine rice, bell pepper, red bell pepper, which is like literally a serious obsession right now of mine. Don't know what's going on with that. And then some kimchi. I try to have kimchi at least one time, at the very least one time a day and I will have a 100 gram serving. So this is what I have. This recipe was featured in this week's meal prep recipe cards. If you are not subscribed to those, you definitely should be. It's free recipes. Um, in the future, they might, it might start to be a subscription program because I have over 2000 people that um, are subscribed to get these cards. And um, if I like miss a week because life happens, people send me like, really crazy emails like where are the recipe like and it's like i'm doing this for free for you god forbid i want to have a week a weekend where i don't sit on my computer and type up recipes so in the future they might be something you have to pay for so while it's free take advantage of it so um this recipe was on there this week so i just have white jasmine rice and i actually seasoned the rice with a couple spices i did turmeric to help with inflammation and then i also did cumin salt and pepper super simple just like a little dash though of um turmeric you don't want too much because you don't want the turmeric flavor to overpower the whole dish so just a little sprinkle of turmeric a little sprinkle of cumin salt pepper and then um i added a little bit of red pepper flakes because i love that spice and so my rice is like yellow as you can see and then red bell pepper, which I just seasoned with um, my Eat Clean Meal Prep Seasoning. They have a Thai yellow curry seasoning that is my favorite. I love it so much. And then the kimchi. So in order to make this a little bit more interesting, because you know I'm all about flavor, I added this guy. I found this at Trader Joe's. It's a salad dressing. It is an almond butter in turmeric salad dressing lemon juice ginger turmeric and black pepper that right there ginger turmeric lemon like i was like whoa this is gr some great ingredients and the macros are phenomenal uh four fat four carb there's one fiber in here probably from like the ginger if i had to guess and two protein for two tablespoons and it is like liquidy so it's not one of those like thick dressings where you really need like four tablespoons like two tablespoons is perfect so i actually use this to season my little dish so i put uh, one serving so two tablespoons over this after um you, i do it right in the tubware microwave it all and it just like it's like makes it like thick and creamy and delicious and then i just have some egg whites on the side i didn't feel like meal prepping any meat this week I don't know why. I just was like, you know what? I'm just gonna throw some egg whites in my meals. So that is what I'm eating right now post workout. Um, kimchi, everyone asks me what it tastes like. Just go buy it and taste it. If it was disgusting, I wouldn't eat it. <laughs> it's just pickled cabbage. So it is sourish. I don't know. I don't know. It tastes like kimchi. So go pick it up and try it. It's, it's delicious. Um, it's really good for you, really great for your digestion a ton of probiotics in kimchi and any like fermented food so i uh try to have that i will have that once a day i make sure of it even if it's just out of the jar so i am gonna eat this because i'm starving and i have a business i'm um i coach um clients like i have a business coaching section of my coaching services where i help girls and boys um uh, men boys who want to start their own company their own business their own coaching business um i help them make their dreams come true so i actually have a call in about a, an hour with one of my coaching clients for business 
So I'm gonna eat this and get some work done and I will see you later for my last meal of the night. It is 5.51, so I'll probably eat my last meal around 8.30, 9 o'clock, so I will catch you in a couple hours. Hello guys, it is 8.45 at night. Work is all done. Brian just vacuumed for me. He is folding the laundry. Husband of the month. You're the husband of the month, babe, not the year of the month. That's pretty whack. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta rate you monthly. It's like a report card, like a monthly report card. But let me show you what I'm eating because it smells and looks so good. It's so simple. Simple food, I swear to you, is so fucking good. Don't complicate things. At the end of the night, you can eat fat, you can eat carbs, just eat the better ones. And let me just walk you through why I'm eating what I'm eating right now. So I have so simple, like painfully simple, white Yukon Gold potatoes that I made in my air fryer. I have just an avocado, 100 grams, and egg whites. That is it. So the reason why I choose these is this is a super clean protein source, no fat, straight protein. It, it gives you a lot of volume so I can eat more for the amount of protein that I'm actually eating. And then I air fried little like mini potato chip little wedges. Um, I wanted to eat them like french fries so I cut them like french fries and I seasoned them with Trader Joe's chili lime seasoning. Yukon gold potatoes are a very very fast digesting carb so it's not going to leave me overly full and like you know just feeling kind of big going to bed on a full stomach. It won't make me feel that way. And then I have fats. I like to leave my fats for the end of the night because it is slower digesting and that's what I want as I sleep. Just like a, a nice, healthy, slower digest, digesting fat. And I love eating them one bite of each. So I'll have like a bite of egg white, a bite of avocado, a bite of potato, and it is perfect. And this, I'll put the macros on the screen for you because I don't remember off the top of my head, but it's pretty low-ish carb, um, moderate fat, moderate protein, like really like 200 calories or something like that. And then I wanted to show you really quick just a couple of the supplements that I take before bed. So it's 8.45, I'm gonna eat this. I have to put some laundry away and I'm just gonna like kind of clean up and settle down for the night. So I always take some collagen at the end of the night. I got this from Costco. Focus. It's focusing on my face. Um, I got this from Costco, just collagen for your face, for your skin, for your joints, everything. I take vitamin C. I start and end my day with uh, 3,000 milligrams of vitamin C. And then I also take these two supplements that I get on Amazon. I actually have a subscription for them. They come to my house every month. One is a mood one is a mood boost and one is a thyroid support. I don't know if I have anything wrong with my thyroid, but I'm just kind of just to support my thyroid from all the dieting that I've done um, throughout my life and my bikini prep and all that stuff. I just think it's really good to take care of your thyroid. And then I do suffer from anxiety. So um, this helps reduce stress and anxiety. So let me, it is LES Labs. I'll put the, um, the brand down below so you can see I just get these on Amazon um, if you click the link in my Instagram bio I have a button for my Amazon store and that's where you can find my air fryer what I use to make my little french fries um, my camera my supplements like everything that I uh, use and eat currently is on my Amazon store so if you're ever wondering just check that out so I'm gonna eat this and I will see you guys in the next video, uh, please comment below with any topics that you would like to see me talk about in the future. I want to start bringing you more informational content, so I'm going to go back and forth from like day in the life, full day of eating, workout type of videos, and then also I want to bring like one informational sit down talking video a week. So please comment below with any requests of topics that you have. And my next video, as long as I'm on schedule, I want to show you some tips for um, like travel and how to bring food. I am traveling to St. Petersburg for my best friend's bachelorette party this weekend. So I want to show you what I'm bringing so I am prepared because they, my friends, um, don't eat like me. So I just want to make sure that I have meals to eat every couple hours because I'm a hungry, hungry girl. So have an awesome day. Hope you liked the video. Please show me some love, love if you liked it. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.